what's going on? My name is Chris. Welcome back to RuneScape! Episode 5! The Grand Adventure! For the very first time since I started the series, well, besides before I started episode 1, I'm actually caught up on clips, so I know for sure it's the beginning of the episode. I have a hell of a lot of lobsters. They are worth a lot of money. 635,000. Uh, oh, by the way, I do plan on cooking all these. That's why they're just kind of here. And that's going to get me a lot of levels fast. Normally, you get more cooking than fishing, so I'll expect to probably get like probably like 62, 63 cooking. I'm at 50 right now, so we will do all that eventually. That, that, that'll kill some time, though. But yeah, I've gotten a lot. And I do plan on selling them as well for some good, decent cash because I uh, have some cooked ones here. How much are these worth each? Take a look. Uh, 230 each. Okay, and the uncooked ones are 276. So I'll lose a bit of money, which, oh well, I'm partially doing this just for the fishing, but all the extra, like, I'm kind of tempted to sell it all for that because that is, oh, that would be some nice money right about now. I want to finish the easy task of this because now that we we did uh, the dig site and we've unlocked kudos and got 50 of them, that was the only thing I was worried about getting. We could literally do everything else. So we're going to start this episode with that, and then I plan on doing quests. Top priority is Bone Voyage, and I have a whole list here of quests I want to do. And third, only one, <laughs> one experience solo, <laughs> level 1400, you can now track Desert Devils, yeah, one day I'll jump on that. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I am going to search uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the Varrock stuff, the easy tasks on there, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we're finally ready to uh, do all the diary stuff, we really don't all need all that much, um, we really don't need that much. So, uh, a lot of it is just like clicking on stuff and browsing stores and stuff. So, there's actually one we could do right around here, I believe, unless it has escaped. Uh, oh boy, where did it go? All right, I'll cut to when I find the stray dog. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the stray dog. <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah, so this is just a clothing store. Uh, this is, I'm just kidding. We're, we're looking for an actual stray dog. And my food's ready. Good beeping. Here it is. So uh, one of the tasks is to give a dog a bone. Woof woof. There you go, completed. I think all these like made me sad. You could just shoot him away. And if this guy was in the way, he would actually okay, he's running away. So that's so sad. I always thought that was sad. And I was like, why would you ever do that? Even though I did it, but I did it to show you guys. It's so sad. <laughs> Dirty bumhole. Uh I that, well, I literally just saw it for the first time because the NPC. Um, alright, we have a uh task here to oh no what is it uh, spin a bowl on the party wheel and fire in the oven in barbarian in barb village freaking barb that's my mom's name that's me mama's name so i've never done this before uh oh yeah it's a bowl it was pie dish pot plant pot yeah no one really does this there's so many other ways to like to, like get this kind of stuff if it's even needed and like this kind of stuff is never really even needed so it's kind of pointless I swear I disappeared when I did that. There you go, task complete. Uh, another task we have is to buy a newspaper. And I remember when this guy was released. Uh, can I have a newspaper, please? There's like two coins, right? Let's hear in front of this, right? 50? What the hell? Sure, here you go. <laughs> there you go, another task complete. What does it say? It's a makeover. The city of Rock is the latest uh, recipient of a complete makeover. Um, so this was initially meant to be like a goblin died giant rat died unicorn why why is there obituaries for rats and i mean the goblin because you know those can talk and stuff but rat and it, like you like what <laughs> bear died um yeah i think this was actually meant to be a thing that was supposed to be uh uh like kept up with like updated as like updates come out but that literally that's the only like, when the when vera got updated because this town got a nice graphic you might notice this town looks a bit nicer than the other towns outside of the are in the game and uh oh it's just right here see there's another test done right there i'm probably gonna forget stuff but uh yeah that obviously never went through because um they suck uh all right on to the next thing another task is for us to make some earth runes so the earth altar is located i don't know if i've ever been here before just uh northeast of uh barack right over here so you get to see it so we can use that on there i don't know if we've done this before let's see are we gonna lock a song? Oh, we did unlock a song. So this is the first time I've been here on this account. Cool. I need to run, please. This altar is it is like a typical cave. There's nothing really cool about this. In addition to that, we also need to make a plank. Uh, normal wood. There we go. That we should be almost done here. I think we only have like one or two more things, right? Uh, jump over the fence. Chop down a dying tree in the lumber. Ooh, I actually would have forgot about that. 
What are you doing here? Oh, Lizzie, I haven't heard that name in a million years. Oh, that looks really weird. Here we go. And that should be it, right? <laughs> really? <laughs> Hardcore parkour. Congratulations, you completed all the easy tasks in the Varrock area. Speak to Toby and Varrock score to claim your reward. Easy enough, mate. Let's go speak to him and see what we asked the side was. Uh, oh, maybe he's where the freaking thing on the maps is an achievement di diary area. I've completed all the easy tasks in the Varrock achievement diary. I can see that the world's on. You've been wanting your reward then. Yes, please. All right, what do we get from this? The armor's assembly for exploration of Varrock. You have 10% chance of mining two ores uh, up to coal and 10% chance of smelting two bars up to steel while using the edge... Uh, Zaf will sell 15 battle staffs per day. Wowie, thanks. If you ever lose your armor, come back to me and reclaim it. So the big reason why I want to do the Varric Diary was actually because of these uh, battle staffs. And the reason uh, of that is because you'll pretty much always make good money on this. This is the thing that like refills every single day. How do I get them? <laughs> I thought there was like a claim. No, 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 no. I don't want to go up there. Right, this one? Ah, claim staffs. So this should cost money, right? Uh, buy 15 discount battle stops for 7,000 coins each. Yes. So, unless I just messed up here, this should be worth... Uh, oh, that's a high okay. 8,256 each. So, I just made um, 15 times 1,256 off of that in profit, most likely. So, uh, yeah, that's um, a good thing to do every single day. And the more of the, the diaries you do, the more stats you get. That's really the main benefit of doing this specific diary. Alright, just off the profit I actually made here. So I just paused my money. We spent 1, 105,000 coins on this. We got 123k. So that's like an easy amount of money per day. And I, Varrock is definitely one of the ones I want to do like as soon as possible. So I'm going to have to do the rest of these. There's quests I need to complete though. Um, Soul's Bane. Uh, Kitten, you need a, a, a quest for that. Uh, you need a quest for that. No, not, never mind. Not for the mahogany planks actually. Pick a white fruit tree. Yeah, that's also... Use a balloon travel from Varag, that's also a quest. There's a lot of quest stuff here. Most of them... Actually, I think I could do all these at this point, so I'll definitely have to try that out. We have all the skill levels required, at least to do the tasks. Whether or not we have the skill levels to do the quests, I'm not entirely sure. But without further ado, we're going to start more quests. Um, oh, I got an antiquity lamp. Uh, I can't use that on Herbler, right? Probably need level 30, so yeah, level 30. Uh, prayer it is... Level? Uh, oh, I think I level! Nice. You can now use Eagle Eye. Hell yeah. Which unlocks a 15% increase in uh, ranging of strength. Um, so that's really good. Fantastic. Time to start Bone, bone Voyage. Alright, so I'm going to start this quest, Bone Voyage. I need to get 100 kudos. I only had 50 and all 55 because I'm telling this guy about previous quests I've done. I just told him about Merlin and apparently they're from England and all from RuneScape. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how many kudos, free kudos I get from this. I, have no, I didn't even know this was a thing. I just kind of talked to this guy on a whim. And what is this guy? Got this lamp from him for telling him about all my adventures. Wait, can I use this on a blur? <gasps> I can. How much is it? A thousand. Oh, that goes enough. Hell yeah. Going to make an energy mix. Dude, that's amazing. Ah, oh, it's a real dragon. Just kidding. So I'm also getting kudos by doing these little quiz things. It turns out rune light though. I was like, why is it green for? It turns out rune light actually tells you the answer. I guess. I'm guessing what, that's what the green is from. Well, tell me what what type of these not a dragon colored elemental. I guess elemental. That's green. I don't freaking know. So I'm still. This is taking forever to be honest. Rune light. This okay, um, But uh, you're at 88. We only get like a random amount per thing per quiz we take. See, what do we get that like seven eight something like that i don't i don't remember how many we had beforehand uh, i'm hoping we have enough here to finish up because we only have one more area to do oh i didn't expect this so doing all the quizzes here just gave me a crap ton of experience wow i think we got like three or four levels from that on hunter uh you know with all this information absorbed i reckon you can say you're more experienced slaying and hunter now uh oh thank you very much no worries mate you take care of now goodbye 1600 i think we had what 13 before with only one experience left to get to 14 or something like that no slayer how much do we get each of that i don't know but uh unfortunately we have 98 out of 100 that we need to start which means we're going to have to 
Um, do another quest. Oh yeah, you gain 1,000 experience in Slayer and Hunter. Okay, that explains it. Yeah, that like that increased my Hunter experience a lot. So I can't start this quest then. That sucks. I gotta go do another quest, I guess, in order to get the remaining kudos to be able to, uh, because we need 100 to start this quest. Ah, oh, god dang it. Conveniently, they now made an update that there's now a list of where you get all the kudos from. So we've gotten pretty much every can- I didn't miss anything. Unfortunately, the only way to get more kudos is to do quests. Which is fine, because I need to do- like, I eventually want to do all the quests anyways. And in fact, it's- uh, uh, Temple of Ikov is on the list of quests I really want to do. But there's also, uh, Silverlight, which is Demon Slayer, which is an extremely easy quest to do. So I'm caught between either doing Demon Slayer because it's so easy and- just, I could do it in like probably 10 minutes, I think. I haven't done it in literally like 10 years. Or <laughs> doing Temple of Icove because that's what I actually want to do for like the boots. So I'll figure it out and I will um, get back to you on which one I'm doing in a moment. I completely forgot I got this. I'm setting up to do Temple of Icove. I decided to do that. We need to do it anyway, so I may as well do it now. I got this. <laughs> 2,502 coins. Wow, that was a waste of time. We did a uh, medium task in the Ardon area. I guess just by teleporting here. I had no idea that was a thing, but uh, there we go. I guess, I guess that's the first time I've ever teleported here without the tabs. I use like teleport runes. So that's another one done that we'll eventually do all of them for. Oh, here's this completely normal looking fellow. Doesn't look shady at all. I'm sure he's a safety man. I seek a useful important mission. Ah, uh, that, that's me. <laughs> All right, there's some combat in this quest, so I'm going to be showing off some of that as I fail miserably at it. Wow, I literally just started this quest. I had no idea you got this so quick. These are the Boots of Lightness. These are amazing. They, let's, well, let's take a look, actually. They will, where just came? My weight is zero kilograms. And just like that, I was now negative five. That is amazing. I'll happily take that. Good. So uh, the Boots of Lightness are, like, useful for an insane amount of things. So I'm definitely going to be using this for, like, a lot. I got a genie, and he's talking to me even though he disappeared already. Uh, genie's a random event that gives you a random experience. Or not random, it gives you a lamp that gives you experience. The reason why I'm talking about it is because, because I did Hunter! Yeah, you cannot catch babby implings. Normally I'd use that on, like, something like Herbal or stuff that costs money to train. But I'm like, I'm so close to level, I may as well. Dun 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 Epic battles of history I am pretty scared of dying Oh my god, I actually could very well die here Oh Oh, I'm fucked I'm straight fuck, mate Oh my god, I did it, thank god That was so scary, I have no health left And I only had I have one arrow left, that's it! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so on this quest, you have the ability to either be a good boy and kill this guy, or you can side with him, but it turns out he's an evil sorcerer that is, was banished, and now he came back, and he's gonna get stronger if you don't kill him. He's actually one of the strongest dudes in all of RuneScape. Um, I mean, for now, I shall reappear in the north. Uh huh, sounds legit. Tell Akov quest is completed for Armadale. Um, so there's two paths in order to, to beat this quest, which is actually pretty cool. What we get 10 and a half thousand range experience and 8,000 fletch experience. Fortunately, just shy of a range level and also just shy of a fletch. Oh, he's back. Hello. Why, why are you back? <laughs> Can I kill him again? No. So this is his house, apparently. But one, actually, another really good thing about this quest I didn't even realize was you also get the Armadale uh, Pendant, which is actually really good for uh, an eventual um, boss in this game. You don't need uh, this Pendant, but it's a very, 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 very helpful. Um, so that's actually another thing I didn't consider that. We're not going to have to worry about that boss for a very long time. But it's still kind of nice to uh, see that pop up and, and like, oh, that's just one last le one less thing I'm going to need in the future. There you go. Finally done that. It's time to do Bone, vo bone Voyage. Let's go. Oh my god. We finally have over 100 kudos, which means we're going to finally start this quest. Uh, I just teleported with a dig site pendant and I got on the medium task for it. I, I knew that. <laughs> I was just talking about that earlier in this episode, but I forgot because I'm stupid. Oh, I'm actually really excited to do this. This is like brand new content to me. I've never seen this before. Oh my god, that was kind of a fun concept, but it was kind of annoying to actually do it. And there we go! 
Lord one quest point access the false islands. Wow. Well, the quest guide also told me to bring um some logs, nails, and a hammer, and I was able to make the chest. Perfect. So I actually have access to the bank now. Thank God. Cool. Okay, this is the first time I'm ever trying to do birdhouses. The entire reason why I did this quest was so I could do these birdhouses. Hopefully I can find oh my god. Is that gonna attack me? Good, it's not. Uh hopefully I can find out where I actually do this. Cause, uh, what was it right here? Back money patch. It might be this. I know what, what you do is you uh use a clockwork on this and ooh, that's actually alright experience. Would you look at that? Um Let's see how many I can make here. We can only use four at once, and these apparently take uh 50 minutes in order to to uh to become ready for me to use. No, don't know on there, eh? Okay, we'll look for the real one. Oh, this is one of them. I missed another one though. I can put that there. Good, good. Oh, seeds. Bird house seed level 0 out of 10. It must be full of seeds before it's, we'll catch birds. Well, there we go. Okay, so you need 10 seeds. Thankfully, there's a lot of cheap trees. Apparently, there's a mushroom that, like, teleports you around or something. This? Oh, here we go. But I don't think we actually have access. I think we literally have to activate them before we can. Not yet found. So we gotta, we gotta actually find them first, which is interesting. Alright, I'm gonna find this other one. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So the first time we do this is actually kind of like normally we use that mushroom I was just talking about to teleport. However, we cannot because we're not we haven't unlocked it yet. So we gotta run all the way around. Oh shit, we can't go this way, can we? Um, we gotta go over here. We gotta run all the way around over here. So I'll just meet you there. Okay, here we go. So we just made it over here finally. So this is where the other, oh the other one's right here. Ha 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 ha. So. Oak is the only is the highest level we can use right now. Once we get to level 24 hunter, which won't take too long doing these, we'll be able to uh, uh, upgrade to Willow and then keep going all the way forever and ever. Um, yeah, we've only unlocked two. Uh, but yeah, now that we've actually used it, we've we've touched it. Now I could uh, use some teleport. So normally, like I'd run, I'd teleport to the dig site, travel here, run up here, and oops, do the other two wyverns. Oh, oh, there's there's a. <laughs> Flare stuff here, excuse me, disgusting. Alright, cool. I don't know where we're at for time, so I'm gonna try and figure out that out. And um this might be the end of the episode. So if it is, goodbye. Uh see you next time. Uh where I'll probably do more quests to be honest, because there's still plenty of quests I really need to do to catch up and uh do some other things. And I didn't bring a teleport on me. Oh yes I did, I brought this. Um bye!